morning and welcome to our midweek devotion for the morning. Today I want to talk to you about Jesus and Noah did a great job this past Sunday uh, talking about the I am statements of Jesus and who I am. So this one I want to talk about the I am the bread of life. I have a devotion I want to read to you. There are many reasons people pursue Jesus. Some come right before a game asking for help to play well. We've all come right before a test asking for mercy when we didn't study. Been there, done that. Some come to church regularly hoping this may convince God to give them a relationship. Some are very religious because they are convinced that if we are good to God, then God must be good to us. At the bottom of all these examples is wanting something from God more than God, God's self. We've all been there. But Jesus in John 6 offers a better reason to come. Jesus just fed the 5,000. It was the first ever live, I mean, live, live fast food experience in history. And the people loved it. So much so, they came to Jesus from all over wanting him to give them bread. They came to him wanting something from Jesus more than Jesus. Jesus makes clear that he did not come to give them good things. He came to give them the one thing they were made for, Jesus. And he says, I am the bread. Jesus is not here to ensure that we have a good life. He came to be our life. Jesus didn't come to give bread. He came to be bread. He does not exist to serve us. Jesus is inviting us to see that we exist to serve him. But we would not serve him unless we taste and experience how he has served us. It's his love for us that wins our hearts to belong to Jesus. We must eat the bread that he offers. On the night, last night of the life of Christ, we find him eating a meal with his followers. With bread in his hands, he broke it in half and said, This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. The next morning, his body was broken as he hung on a tree for the sin of humanity. He embraced our death so we could taste his life. This is the bread we're meant to consume. This bread will satisfy your deepest desires. This bread will save you from your sickness of being separated from God. This bread tastes like love. This bread is better than anything else the world has to offer. Don't settle for coming to Christ for something from him instead of him. He is the bread. Don't miss him. You know, often we hear that Jesus is the bread of life. And when we do communion, we say that this is the body and bread of Jesus. Or we may say uh, the cup of the bread of life, as this is said here in our communion times. Either way, we're reminded that Jesus is the life and Jesus is the bread. I'd encourage you this week to think about this. Do you find yourself wanting things from God more than you want God? God's self. How many times has it happened to you that you have gone to God, bargaining with God, saying to God, God, if you do this for me, I'll do that for you. And then we do something like tithe or give money, something we expect God to repay us in a way. And that's not how it works. You see, God created us to love us and for us to love God. And so as you go through this day and you think about, I am the bread of life with Jesus. Think about the fact that as you do communion, as you just walk through your daily life, when you think about bread, when you think about eating, think about Christ and take a moment and pause. I mean, he took a little bit of bread and fish and fed 5,000 people because he is the bread of life. Just think what Jesus can do if we lived every day as if we are with him and recognizing him as the bread of life. Let us pray. God, we thank you for the example of Jesus as being the bread of life. And God, as we go through this day, help us to want you more than we want anything else. Remind us, God, you're not a, a ATM to just get money from. That you're not a supply and demand kind of God. But that you are there consistent and constant with us, loving us through everything that we go through. On this day, as we 
listen to this and read this and see this morning midweek manna. I pray, God, that whoever touches will come to understand you as the bread of life. I pray all this in the name of Jesus. Amen. You see, it doesn't take a lot to understand that Jesus is the bread of life. And Jesus is all those things and more that we read about in the scriptures. So I hope this blesses you in some way today. And I will post another one later this evening. Take care.